Would you please welcome Prue Goward? Well, thank you, Alan. And it's wonderful to see so many people here today. When we began this, uh, well, over, only just over a year ago, when we met in that hall at Sutton Forest, there were four or five hundred of us on a very wet night, uh, and we said then it would be tough. We said then that there would be a range of obstacles, and so it has proven to be. And sadly, our rural communities are bear bearing the burden. And I do reiterate, and I'm confident of this, that if the moment you start to mine through that aquifer, there is no way you can do that without destroying it. This is a giant water filter that presents and gives us the purest water in New South Wales and wonderful water for Sydney. I have to say, when it comes to prime agricultural land, we have not been kind to ourselves here. I wrote about the importance of preserving agricultural land. Uh, I, the, the farm, the farm that has just been bought, I would say deceitfully and duplicitously by Hume Cole. In fact, let me remind you of three wicked, wicked words that this community and communities all over New South Wales fought against as part of that campaign. And those three words were part 3A. And part 3A allowed the former government to decide on the minister's whim or behest or whatever, whether he or she wanted to approve a development. Impatience and passion are great drivers of change. And we need to harness that impatience, which is why the petition is so important, uh, which is why your letters to the ministers involved are so important. By the way, there are four of them, not just one. Uh, the Minister for Mines is one, but in fact the Minister who will make the decision, is the, as they should, be the Minister for Planning, on the advice of the Ministers for uh, the Environment, the Minister for Primary Industries and Water, and the Minister for uh, Resources and Energy. Now, you must be impatient, and you must write, and you must ring, and you must sign the petition, and it must be debated. And don't think that there is no politician in that Parliament who is not on your side. There are many of us with communities exactly like this one who will argue the case and do argue the case very strongly. We need to hear the miners' objections so we know how to uh, draft that regulation so that that objection is accounted for. Did you have a government that heard the lesson, heard the message very clearly on March the 26th, knows what it's doing, and knows that the last thing this community wants, or any community wants, is for a regulation that will fail, that will let you down, let us down, and let the future down. All the lobbyists are the best people, the best former politicians, the deputy prime ministers and the like. All three levels of government signing up with a common purpose, which is to save not, the, not just this area, but to save our land, our people, our future, to recognise that the long-term interest of Australia is ironically not in being a mine, but in being a food bowl. I thank you.